as much as 80% of Cambodia's population relies on aquaculture and fisheries for their livelihoods. From the scientific evidence we have, globally, we know that fish is unique in its uh, nutrient composition and especially small fish in its contribution to micronutrient, vitamins and minerals inta intake, as well as essential fats and animal protein. All essential nutrients for proper, optimal growth and development. And we know, for example, we know from other studies in Cambodia that in young children, their level of consumption of fish is quite low. We also know from focus group discussions and from other surveys carried out in the field that children do not receive as part of their diet fish and especially not small fish and if they do it's quite late in life after they're about one and a half years of age. Small fish species especially consumed whole is critical for growth in children development and cognition so fish plays a very important role in the in the, in the nutrition of young children. Also, with not only starting from the child, but in the first thousand days of life, meaning from pregnancy to the first phase of exclusive breastfeeding, the first six months of the child, and on, onto the child's second birthday. So in this space, we have a great opportunity to improve growth development and cognition by promoting consumption of small fish and using the resources that we have in the rice field fisheries to increase production, productivity and diversity of fish species. So we wish to, to shift the intake of fish in young children from the start of complementary feeding at six months of age and therefore we have developed recipes and messages and, and used demonstrations to try to promote intake of fish and especially false small fish among children from the age of six months of six months. So the way one of the ways we have done it is what, which you have seen in the field make a porridge with rice, which is the staple of Cambodia, and some vegetables, and small fish, which is first cooked and mashed so that, you, so that there were no issues about bones or the head, or, or, and use this as a nutritious, complementary food for the young child. This project is being funded by Feed the Future and therefore there are certain criteria that we'd like to meet. We'd like to improve, um, imp improve communities with respect to livelihoods, uh, with respect to the levels of poverty, with, the, with respect to household income and importantly also with respect to the importance of fish for nutrition. So, one of the areas that we are focusing on is within communities, the households that where there are women of reproductive age, and this would be nearly all households, and households where there are young children, so that we can, at the same time that we increase productivity and diversity of the fisheries, we can also promote increased consumption among women and young children. The, the first phase of this Feed the Future project was focused on 40 communities where the community fish refuges were developed. And in a second phase that's begun this year, there's an effort to expand that to some 170 uh, communities and to 
uh, spread that geographically to multiple provinces in a way that can more broadly support the government policy around mainstreaming this approach to enhance the productivity of rice field fisheries. Thank you.